everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a requested video, can you believe it because I can't. I'm going to be starting a series called Banana Bucket List which is where every month I'm going to tell you the top five places which have making me been suffering from a serious case of wanderlust. I'm actually really excited about doing this series because when I saw someone mention it I thought what an amazing idea because I can document everywhere that I know I want to go in the future and then in years to come I can look back and like tick off the things that I've done and also maybe I'll give a bit of inspiration to you and help you decide where you're wanting to go. The first thing and currently right at the top of my bucket list is somewhere which I've been absolutely obsessed with researching recently and it's a tiny little country called Palau. I first heard about this place when I saw pictures of people snorkeling in this crazy jellyfish lake. I'm sorry, this just looks like literally some place that you'd only see in your dreams. Anyway, I did a little bit more research and found out that Palau is a very small country made out of 250 islands in Micronesia which is close to the Philippines and Indonesia, which is over here on the map. The population is about 21,000 people, which to put into perspective is about a third of the people living in just my hometown. So obviously I've been researching how I can actually make this trip happen and it turns out you can teach English as a foreign language over there and I've always wanted to do that anyway, but now I know that you can do it in Palau, my heart is absolutely set. This place just looks insanely beautiful. The second thing on my bucket list is something that I've known about for ages but I'm still craving to do it all the time and that is to go and see the Northern Lights. So for those of you who don't know, the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis is a spectacle where the night sky is filled with like a tie-dye of greeny, bluey colours. In pictures it looks fake but it's actually completely natural and in a nutshell it is caused by the interaction of solar wind, a stream of charged particles escaping the sun and our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere. Thank you BBC News for that nice summary. You are most likely to see them from the most northern countries, so Norway, Iceland, Canada, Alaska. I'm pretty sure you can get apps which tell you when is the best place to see them at what place because it's again something to do with like nature and geography and all that which is all a bit above my head at the moment um, but I really do think it'll be a special moment when I do get to see the northern lights and I'm really super excited. The third thing on my list is to go hiking in Alberta, Canada. This was inspired when I started following an Instagram account called Travel Alberta. It just looks incredible the sapphire covered lakes, the thousands of Christmas trees, the picture perfect mountains, it just looks so tranquil and stunningly still and I think I would just feel honoured if I get to travel to Alberta at any point in my life and but I hope I don't have to wait long. The fourth thing on my bucket list is somewhere where I have been interested for a very long time, specifically 12 years when I was a very sweet little nine-year-old and loved to read the Rugrats Round the World magazines. Yep, anyone remember them? Well, lo and behold, I have been doing a bit of digging recently and only came across my entire collection. <laughs> I can't quite believe it, but I am absolutely thrilled. I loved these things. And it has reminded me that I really have been suffering from wanderlust far before I even know what that word meant. A place that I remember specifically sticking out for me is Egypt. I absolutely loved to learn and I'm still completely fascinated by the history of ancient Egypt. I'd love to visit the pyramids, Tutankhamun and of course go float in the Red Sea while I'm over there. In Egypt, Mahaba means hello. Mahaba. Oh that's a fun fact. Board games were put in graves to keep the mummy amused. That is fun. I buy get a board game in my grave. It'd be bloody weird, but I'd be good. And last, but by absolutely no means least, the fifth and final destination on my bucket list is Panama City, which just so happens to be the first destination of my next backpacking adventure. If you follow me, Grace, or Matilda on Instagram, you will know that we have officially booked our next backpacking adventure and we're going to Central America in March and I'm so freaking excited! 
and our first destination is Panama City and so of course I've been doing so much research on it and it just looks like to put it simply, the absolute freaking coolest place in the world. And that is it for my top five places that I've been absolutely obsessing about through November. If you like this video and want me to carry on doing it, then give this video a thumbs up. If you have done your own travel bucket list, please let me know because I love seeing where other people want to go to and sort of what's on their top travel things in the world because I find that Almost every day I'm introduced to new places which I've never even heard of and I'm like, oh my god, that's insane. I want to go there. So I'd love to see if any of you have a travel bucket list as per usual. I don't know what my next video is going to be, but I will see you then. Bye!